Okay, so two ATP molecules. Do you see the see where the two ATP molecules are right here? They come in and it's like well, bam, they and they they interact with the sixth glucose and come out as ADP. So how many phosphates does the ATP have? Two. Three. Now how many does the ADP have? How many does ADP have? Just has two. Because it it comes in. And then one gets used up in the energy, and I end up with two. Okay, so everyone understands it goes from glucose, and then it turns into the three-carbon molecule. So step two, the three-carbon molecules react with NAD+, and make NADH. The three-carbon molecules also react with 4-ADP to make 4-ATP. After the three-carbon molecules have reacted, they make pyruvate. Pyruvate, right there. So, the ADP come in with two, and they get they get energized by the three carbons and get more energy, so they end up with three. And the NAD plus goes in, and comes out as NADH. So it starts off as a three carbon molecule, but by the end they're a more powerful three carbon molecule known as pyruvate. What does this little arrow mean? It means that NADP comes in and does what? With the, with changes the, it. It changes into ATP based on the carbon coming through. When the carbon comes through, the ADP changes back to ATP, and the NAD plus changes into NADH. All right, can I go on to the next one? Yes. The pyruvate molecule is broken down into a two, a two carbon molecule. So see, here's the pyruvate here and it gets broken down into a two carbon molecule. The other carbon, the other carbon goes off as carbon dioxide and it goes off as waste. Because in humans, in the Krebs cycle, we don't like carbon dioxide, we'd rather just get rid of it. And the high energy electrons are also transferred to the two carbon molecule. So they, this high energy electrons from the NAD plus are passed in and transferred and and these things go off somewhere else to the electron transport chain. Do we copy, copy that scribble? You don't have to. The scribbles are just, I'm just talking and showing you guys stuff. Yeah. Coenzyme A. So this is, it's for coenzyme A is short, CoA is short for coenzyme A. It attaches to the two carbon molecule. This is step two. So the two carbon molecule right here is added to this four carbon molecule right here to form a total of two plus four is six. six. You guys are good at basic math. To form a six carbon molecule called citric acid. Coenzyme A leaves and goes back to step two. C citric acid is found in things like oranges. Tangerine. Yeah, like lemons, stuff like that. And we also learned first period that if you use citric acid and combine it with some other stuff, you can get rid of your fingerprints. I'm great. I'm great. Step four, the citric acid molecule is broken down. So here's the citric acid thing. It's broken down and one of the CO2s goes off as waste and you're left with five at the end. So it starts with six and goes down to five because one of them goes off as CO2 waste. Like I said twice already, carbon dioxide is always given off, or almost always given off as waste in human bodies. We just give it off, the plants take it in and make it into oxygen, and we, we breathe it out, they breathe it in. They breathe out oxygen, we breathe in oxygen. So a molecule of carbon dioxide is given off as a waste product. All right, last one. Actually, is this the last one? No, there's two more. We are in the step five. The five carbon molecule is broken down as it goes down here. One of them goes off as CO2, and then it comes down as a four carbon molecule. A molecule of NADH is created right here. It comes in as NAD plus and goes off as NADH, and ADP comes in and goes off as ATP. So this is the part that sort of powers it. It gives power to the NADH and the ATP. And you don't have to memorize all of this because I'm going to let you use your notes on the test. But if you, so if you take good notes, you'll be rewarded by doing well on the test. As long as you understand the material. If you don't understand it, when you see the question, you're not going to know the answer. 
because you have to know that, like what does C stand for? Carbon, right? So you got to know all this stuff. You have to know that how many phosphates does an ATP have? Three molecules of carbon dioxide are given off as a waste product. One molecule of ATP is given off. One mo four molecules of NADH to the electron transport chain. And one molecule of FADH squared. Or I mean not squared. Uh, to the, to the second. That's an F. It's F A D H 2. Okay, that, that's that one, if you can't read it. The last one is F A D H 2. 